I'm actually really happy to be here today. Uh, this project has been a long time in the making. I want to thank Motorola, TEBS, MCPD, MCFRS, and Emergency Call Center for all being here today. And I want to thank the Cabin John Volunteer Firefighters for hosting us at their station. Uh, and I appreciate the engagement and work with the community out with throughout this process. I do wish that we had been had the opportunity to wrinkle out, to, I mean, to iron out some of the wrinkles that came up at the very end. Um, but adding 11 new radio station sites throughout this county is not easy, but it was absolutely crucial to public safety. This is a $42 million investment from our taxpayers, but there was no cost that was too great in order to enable us to save more lives. This day is long overdue. Anybody who worked on this project knows this should have been done 10 years ago, maybe longer. Um, when it came to responding to public safety emergencies, every second counts. And we had a system in place where there are places you couldn't communicate from, signals were dropped, and the worst thing is the system would go down. Um, when I was first elected, I think two weeks after, in December of 2018, I had a meeting about the ta what we were gonna do with these towers. And in that meeting, they said, this system is likely not to make it through the year. You're going to continue to have failures. Oh, by the way, we can't buy any parts for the system. And we have to go to places like Fairfax County's radio shop and go through their junk bin when something fails on the system to see if we can find parts to replace things that are broken. And we were turning to eBay to buy replacement parts in the years leading up to this. That never should have happened with a piece of public safety equipment. Never should have happened. This project should have been done. One of the things I asked everybody to do was to go out and buy as much used equipment as they could get so that if something failed, which I was told was inevitable, you'd be able to pull parts off a shelf rather than getting on eBay trying to find something and going through the local radio tower uh, system in other, in other jurisdictions. So getting out of that mess is a big deal. I'm thankful that we did not have um, the kind of failures that were anticipated when I came in, that this year went much smoother than was anticipated. I'm really happy that we've doubled our radio sites, 11 to 22, including this monopole here in Potomac. This gives us coverage of the Potomac River in a way we didn't have before, as well as coverage in other parts of the county where coverage was spotty and inconsistent. I remember talking to firefighters who said if they were in a building, they couldn't get their signal out of the building and they needed a strong, stronger system. So we've got it now. Um, this capacity of the new system is 80% greater than the previous system. It can support additional radio users and radios have all been updated to be compatible with the new system. The system currently supports 6,000 radio units, users with the capacity to support over 100,000. I, I highly doubt we'll get to 100,000 people with radios, but were that date ever to come, this system can handle it. It has greater interoperability than we had before across the entire national capital region of state, local, and federal partners. And we're here at Cabin John specifically because they run so many calls to the CNO Canal in Great Falls to rescue both hikers and kayakers. The coverage of this area is very difficult, as well as radio signals not being able to communicate across the river. As you can imagine, when you get into a rural environment like this, and Montgomery County does have trees, finding a location that's high enough and is not surrounded by trees can sometimes be challenging. And if you move one tower, it can mean you have to move the other tower. So getting this thing all seamlessly put together was no small work. And I really do appreciate um, everything everybody did to make this hap happen. Motorola is providing 10 years of maintenance and support to ensure a strong return on our investment. And by keeping our technology current over time, no more eBay trips, and since the loss of the launch of this new system in March, we've had no outages or issues. So though this wasn't an easy process, and it's a process that should have been done a long time ago, this is much better late than never. And we're glad that the year didn't bring us problems that we had anticipated. And I'm just really thankful that all the folks were able to put this project together. And that we're standing here today, and we know we've got a system that's going to work and is going to keep Montgomery County residents safe. So thank you.